Splash, number 45, Joshua Williamson and Christian Deuce uh, doing the art. Uh, this is an exciting issue. I was excited to get into this issue. This is the first thing I read. This was, I got my books and I'm like, Flash is first. Because Flash has kind of risen. See, over the past like two or three months, Flash has risen to being the, the one that's maybe the most exciting for me on the weeks that it's out. It, give or take, obviously. It, it depends if there's like a, you know, a doomsday clock out that week or, or so on. Yeah. But out of the regular books, it's kind of risen to being like kind of first on the, or at least in the first couple that I, I'll get to. And, uh, this, uh, I, I don't like this point. I think obviously, it was a, largely a follow-up issue uh, after Perfect Storm. Yeah, I mean, it was an epilogue. It was, so. yeah, and it was wrapping up all these things. But the reason why I was excited, of course, was because I knew that the Wally Iris stuff was coming in some capacity. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it bookended the issue with it because it started with him getting the flowers from that, that flower shop that he talked about in the annual that he always yep. went to. Uh, and the other speedsters are around about the city and they're you know cleaning things up, getting all the businesses back up on their feet, all the destruction that happened during, during Perfect Storm. All, dealing with all that, and we get all the various kind of fallout scenes. We we get Barry going to uh, Kristen. We get Barry going to Mina. Um, we get you know all, all the all these scenes. We get uh, Wally, young Wally that is with Avery. They see Mina, and then you know Damien shows up to set up uh, the new Teen Titans stuff. He's like, hey, and like Wally's like, ah, you're just pissed because I I, I caught you over there, which is funny because there was a couple of references to that this issue because later on, uh, Barry's like, oh Iris, how did you know I was here already? He's like, you're the Flash, not Batman. <laughs> you're stomping yeah. around. So, the, so the book was just full of these little nice character beats that I think played off very well. Obviously, the God Seed, the God, the God Seed, the God Speed scene, uh, particularly interesting because there's a, an ominous voice telling him that he can help solve him, help solve his brother's murder. And I think there's there's a lot of like red herrings in this scene, or at least one big red herring where it feels very Manhattan-y in a lot of ways because there's a blue tint and there's a blue outline in the speech bubbles. However. It is not the Manhattan speech bubble because the Manhattan speech bubble is completely it's blue, blue with the white, isn't it? It's solid blue in the background, whereas this was a blue outline around the regular speech bubble. So I, I think it might even be intentionally kind of like, hey, this is kind of like a Manhattan esque thing, but I don't think it is. No, I don't think it is either. If anything, I think it might be uh, Zoom, it might be Zolomon. Yeah, I think that's the most logical. You know, given that we know we've been yeah. setting that up, we know where we're going. Unless, of course, this is setting stuff up for after Flash War, in which case it's got nothing to do with him, and this is like setting stuff up for down the line, which is also cool if they're doing it's that. It's a possibility, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so that that was cool. Um, like I say, I like the Mina stuff, where she's like still saying, "Oh, like I mean, yeah, like I, I didn't want to kill anyone, but and as much as Grodd is controlling me, I still actually believe the Speed Force is dangerous, and you're kind of blinded by it." But he's, you know, he still had a nice moment with it, with the kids coming in and you know having the having the yeah end the that. awkward facial expressions aside, um, a little bit awkward. I did actually like the art for the most part. I, 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 think I, it, I agree for the most yeah. part. It's just there's a handful of faces here or there that just look weird. Yeah, I actually do. I really like, I like the detail in the hair and the facial hair from Edus. Does it see the opening when Wally goes to the the the, the, the florist, mm. the florist, and the the guy's mustache? I thought, man, that's a good mustache. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I know what you mean. That, that was my first thought when I looked at that page, is that is a damn good moustache. He does the stubble very well, doesn't he? He does. Uh, yeah, I think maybe when he falls down, he's, he makes the eyes a little bit big, so the, the, the facial expressions feel a bit... It's it's the eyes and the mouths feel yeah. a bit... just they, they feel disproportionate. And like, like Wally's mouth specifically on that panel just yeah. looks wrong. I don't hate it. It's just kind of like it's over exaggerated. Uh, I, I agree, it's a criticism. It doesn't take me out of it though. I, I think it still at least fits for the most part with the art as a whole, as opposed to. Uh, fair enough. I think I think it does take me out because typically it's better than that. But then there's a mm. handful of panels that just look really over exaggerated, where most of them are quite refined. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's the sort of thing where a bit of time. Maybe if I had more time for the issue, maybe that's the yeah, sort of maybe. thing that would be ironed out. But. Uh, so now, like that, obviously, Damien setting up new Teen Titans. Uh, not, not, well, not new Teen Titans. You know what I mean? The the new Teen Titans d- direction yeah. on Teen Titans. Yeah. Uh, th- th- that's that's cool. And you know, Avery's back off to Justice League of China. So it's kind of like spin all these things back out. But she all- does. She does uh, yeah, I want Wally to go with her. Though. It, she does. She does. Although, given that that book seems to be ending, uh, he's made Probably the right a good call. Good job. He's, he's not. Yeah. yeah, made the right call there, but. We all build up, so we go through all these epilogue things, and Kristen feels bad about Godspeed, and Barry's kind of like, oh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't tell her that I'm the one that let him out. <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't yeah. go bad. But of course, he's like, no, hopefully it works out for the better, and we don't find him in a crime scene next time. So, well, I hope you're mm. right, Barry. I, you know, I appreciate your optimism, but you know, I worry. 
So I like I like that it was kind of like dealing with all these all the various characters we've had, all these supporting characters. It was kind of like rounding off all these things. That, not 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 in general, just for this part of the story, this part of the arc, this part of the run, more more specifically. Yeah. And it all builds up, of course, to the Barry and Iris, because obviously he's going through all of his supporting cast, so naturally Iris is the finale. Iris is the one where he's, he's, he's building up to. Mm. And they have a bit of a heart-to-heart, and she's like, no, I want to learn about the Flash, and she pulls out the suit from his ring, and I want to know about the Flash, I want to know what you're like, you know, you, you've got earpieces in your... your, your yeah, what, what music are you listening your horns. to? And then she plays it, and it's Neil deGrasse Tyson. Tyson and she's like, you listen to science books? <laughs> well, you're right around, you're such a nerd. And you get your big full-page kiss with the, the light yeah. behind them. It's all very I, I, I really love the um, the focus effect mm. on this, because, you know, you know the, the foreground's, you know, out of focus. It's something I feel like I don't see a lot in comics. It's funny, because I think one of the biggest things in film is is focus like that's that's, right. part, that's that's like half the cinematography is framing the other half is what is in focus <laughs> yeah i mean that's not really true there's movement and all sorts of other things to think yeah movement lighting you know, but, all the other stuff but, but in terms of a single frame that's your two big things is what's actually in the frame and what is in focus and i feel like comics maybe should use focus a little bit more to differentiate yeah because it it makes this page really stick out because it is I say I don't see it very often, but it, it really focuses in on you know Barry and Iris like it should. It's probably, it's one of the things I always talk about with the uh, 3D movies where I feel like the 3D effects really fake, and I actually find that just having like something in the foreground out of focus in a regular 2D movie is actually much more effective to giving it layers than the actual stupid gimmicky 3D effect where it's like oh it's like a pop out book there's a bit that's in the front and a bit in the back. That's fair. And I feel like no, that's, that's comics could do the same thing. They could have a bit of focus. Play with what yeah, doing. I think they get away with it a lot because it's small panels and you know there isn't much space for focus. There is, yeah, because you, you you could clutter the, the the panel too much by having a lot of stuff around the edges just for focus sake, just to say, oh, there's something in the foreground out of focus, so we have to draw that in. But when you get to these bigger pages and other you know wider panels, especially, mm. like it just just flicking through a couple of panels, there's a you know panel with um, New Wally just at the at the bottom, and uh, a couple of pages later. While he's at the bottom, and then you got Barry and Iris a bit behind, like a little bit of focus would not go amiss. Yeah, no. Uh, so not, uh, but yeah, so so they have to put their heart to heart, and Barry's like, okay, so now you're getting told everything. So that, uh, and, and I mean that, I'm going to tell you everything, which means this. And she's like, what? What's going on? And Wally comes in with with these flowers, with the tulips. She's like, well, yeah, you're clearly the other Flash because you know the hair. That's uh, that's pretty obvious. And obviously, Wally's been sending her the, the flowers for a week, or every week. So, you know, she she she's putting two and two together there. It, it, Wally basically breaks down. He's like, I can't do this. I can't do this again. Uh, like, Because you know, he's done it with a few other people. He's like, no, I can't do this. And he backs away, and Iris grabs his arm. He's like, no, it's okay. It's fine. And then she's like, it's, there's a pause. I say pause. There's a panel where they look at each other. And then she's like, Wally. And uh, it's like, you remember? And, you know, she's like, yeah, and they all have to hug, they cry. Barry's wiping a tear away. It's all very emotional. It's all very big. And, and, and you know, just, just it's hitting. It's, we've been waiting for this for so long. It's kind of hitting the marks that you wanted to hit. And then she says, where's everyone else? Yeah. Where are the others? And he's like, others? Who are you talking? And then he, like, so, like, you know, spark. He's like, he's having a main, like, speed force seizure with the, the lightning. And Barry's like, what's wrong? And he's like, Barry, I remember. And then the final page, full page layout, I remember everything. And there's just like all these splintered panels behind them of the original New Teen Titans that he was on, uh, of him and Bart, of just various things from the wedding. history. The wedding. Yeah, the wedding, all that stuff. And I mean, we, we kind of heard a while ago that he was probably going to find out about his kids in Flash War. And that was really exciting to learn that that was going to be a thing. Mm. Uh, and uh, I'm really excited about this. And him wanting to get get his family back, him wanting to have his kids back, Iris knowing his kids. Yeah. All of this is tantalizing. It is. It really is. I was pumped when I read this, but I I put this down. I was like, damn it! I can't wait for the Flash now. <laughs> Next issue, I want it. Give it to well, me. Well, you've got two whole weeks to wait. Damn it! Uh, yeah. And. Obviously, I mentioned earlier on there was some stuff in Twitter. I was referring to Flash-related stuff because there was a lot of Flash War teasing going on in the last couple of days. Uh, Tom King was saying, oh, I've read the first chapter of Flash War. It's fantastic. And the 
the the fallout is going to hit the entire DCU. We've had a few writers and artists tweet that that the, the fallout is going to be like a big line wide thing. We've been saying, you know what, it'd be really cool if Wally took over as the as the Flash after mm-hmm. Flash War and Barry took a break or whatever, you know, whatever. And that's in one of these panels when he's with Barton. This panel, that's him as Flash. It is, yeah. Um, uh, but we we've kind of gone, uh, maybe not, because the things that we've seen, you know, or the the Justice League stuff, it's it's yeah. it's Barry there, right? That uh, that's what it looks like. Yeah, the one kind of hope that maybe it wasn't Barry in the new Justice League stuff was that. You know, after like all this stuff, like Wally's not in the Titans anymore. So where is he? What's he doing? Yeah. Well, here's what I think: the best thing they could possibly do is go. Yeah, all those covers, they were just stand-ins, and then do new co- and then do the same cover again, but just with Wally Flash there. Yeah, or maybe what they could do is like, no, that is Barry. But while Barry's doing Justice League stuff, Wally's the Flash in the city. Yeah, it could be. And the main book becomes more of a Wally book. Like, I mean, it's not entirely It's impossible. got less ramifications for the DCU as a whole, though, in that way. Oh, sure. But, like, I don't know if the ramifications for the whole are necessarily just that Wally's going to become the Flash again. No, no, that's true. Uh, I could see it being different things. And I wonder, like, does he get his family back by the end? Does it actually, like, you know, ripple some of the old timeline back in? Not all of it. I don't expect all of it or, you know, whatever we're going to get until the end of Doomsday Clock, but... That does it actually rewrite at least part of the head? Kind of like how Superman Reborn did the Superman stuff a little bit. Like yeah, yeah, it's true. That does that does Flash War actually give us some more status quo changes for the Flash in general? So here's here's hoping here's hoping good things. Uh, but no, regardless, uh, super exciting. Uh, I love the issue.